gotta get up, don't give up, gotta get up, don't give up, gotta get up, don't give up, gotta get up, don't give up. Alright, welcome back to Is What It Is S4G Opinion Show. Um this segment right here is on the topic of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West breakup. Meek Mill and Nicki Minaj break up. Okay. Y'all know only speak the truth, so here we go. So, with that being said, I'm going to start with Kim Kardashian and, and uh, Kanye. I'm going to start with that one. Okay, uh, I'm going to go right in on this. It's not a surprise to me and any other believer or a person that's uh, aware of what's going on that that would come with this um i don't wish it i don't you know because no matter what they've been through no matter how she lived or whatever was going on i, I you know i felt like they would you know they seem like a good couple you know how that's always how it looks on the outside looking and you never know what's going on but with that being said, knowing what's going on spiritually, <clears throat> from which situation in the family, stuff like that, you know, her doing the the blood wash up, you know, washing up in blood, disrespecting the Bible, because you know it's in the Bible about that bathing in blood, you know, um, Things like of that nature. God bless her soul at the end of the day. I pray that she received Jesus Christ. You know. People don't get it. That's why we still here and breathing. No matter what you do. If you're still able to breathe air. You have a chance. So when it comes to you going in front of the almighty throne. Whether you doubted Jesus or however. You get in front of Jesus God the Father Holy Spirit. And all that good stuff. They're going to be like, you knew, and you had mo multiple opportunities. You know what I mean? Hopefully you get a near-death experience where you talk to them, and then you come back and get another chance. I don't know. But um, with that being said, it's not surprising me that she would be following this in the height of everything he's going through because it had been perfect, right, for her to stand by him, stick by him, to make it seem like, you know, she's not with the stuff that she's with. The media is just making this up, you know. <clears throat> and it made her look better if she stood by him. You know? So, for you to go against him too, it just goes to show. It just goes to show what's going on. You know, and then not only that, um, we already know what's going on with the end two, but at the same time, what I'm saying from this, and it's my opinion, right? When stuff is put out there for everybody to see, everybody's opinion. You know, everybody can have their opinion. So with that being said, the point I'm making is also, you know, uh, being as though what everybody knows they're into. They put it out there what they're into. You know. I'm also looking at it as. Because you got to think about it. For what she did. And, 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 and it takes two. For her. For Kanye to get with her. She didn't make him. Well. I wasn't there when they got together. But I'm saying this is my opinion. Right. He's a man. Right? If she didn't make them get together, he had his free will, she had her free will. But the point I'm making is this, right? This Kardashian curse thing. And I'm going to speed it up on this note. She hit him with the curse. And not only that... You already know at the end of the day, when it comes to lust and satanicness and all that, 
you know, and then say if you single at the time or whatever's going on with you, even, even more if you single, right? It's a, it'd be even more burden on your heart if you're with somebody and you phone or some crap like that. But if you single, however, I don't know what his status was, but make a long story short, you fall into that, this is the point I'm making. I see this, this, curse put on him. It's like, forget what she did with Ray J and O, because that should have been enough. And then how she looked in the in the, in the the icons of the videos that they be showing when they be taunting about her being with Ray J, she looking at the camera on some. this is what I do. She looking at the camera like, you know, we're going to be coming out with a part two, like on some, you know, who's next? So for you to see all that and you still get with this girl, either she whipped you with that curse and either, because I don't know too much to say if a curse wears off or you had, besides for your mom passing away, you had family members that continually prayed for you because I know all your family ain't passed away. That's continually praying for you. And you did Jesus walk. So you got some praying family members that pray for you that broke that demonic veil. And it went down to the point of you came out of that curse and realized what's going on and what's happening. And said, so I got to say something. I got to do something. Oh, he snapped out of it. Yeah. Time to divorce this boy or whatever. But I'm going to take the babies with me. Because if, if y'all don't know, and I pray that he wins his children, and it's sad to say that because that's how the system goes, the devil. You got spiritual and blessed people of the Lord that's in the system, but we need more because... They make it trying to make it seem like they're dominating that in the system. It's a shame. You have to fight for your children to come down to custody and all that. And especially in his position, that's why the women try to jump right on it. Or whoever the demonic, even more demonic side is. And the reason why I say that, for him to wake up and try to speak something, it goes to show who's more into it. But no right. Two rights don't make it wrong. And. It's no good sense, so I got to speak facts on both sides. But the point I'm making is this, is that with that being said, you wake up, okay. Now she's trying to, whether it's spiritually, your people's pray for you, or whether you said a special prayer to the Lord, because when God is in you and with you, whether you, whatever you do, God is, listen, I got to say this. God is such an almighty God and an awesome God. And a gentleman at the same time. True believers know what I'm saying. That he could have fell short. Because that's what it is. Obviously, you, you got some type of belief in Jesus. You did Jesus walk. And you heard what he said. Because I rap about God. My record won't get played. Huh? You represent me. You represent all believers. And then to go to where you went, it's like, this is my last, you know, yo, y'all, I'll let y'all know. So help me, but I'm stepping in this portal. So with that being said, you know, besides for your family praying for you, he may have said a special prayer. Because the reason why I say that, God will allow you sometimes to, if you want to make that step and go left, God never leaves us. We leave him. We can leave him. He's married to us. But he's faithful too. If we're not faithful. So Kanye could have went left. And he was on some, you know what? I won't forget him though. Like Jesus said about Lazarus. He go left, sell a soul, do anything he do. But once God is in you, See, people got to twist it and make you feel like, oh, God ain't in you. Because really, God can't be mixed with nothing that's nasty or negative. But at the same time, with the three wise men, right? Jesus was in the fire with them. 
So same way as God can't be in the midst of something negative, nasty, filthy, soul, spirit, body, same way as he proved, I will go through the fire with you and for you. He went to hell for us. He was in that place of fire where they put those three wise men there, refused to reject Jesus and went in that fire. And in that fire, they said it was a fourth man. So for him to do that it goes to show if you sell your soul, it does not mean that God is going to leave you immediately or leave you. He's still there. That small voice. You can do it. But you know why? That voice might get smaller because God is going to allow you to go through it so you can be a walking testimony. When you come out of it, just get back on the path. That's what God is about. We fall down, but we get up. Take it how y'all want. Pride gets in the way with these cats. What people going to think about them, how they going to look at them. Think what you want. I'm human. You know what I'm saying? Same way as I come in spirit and I'm a believer to the fullest. I ain't worrying about impressing you dudes. This is wrong with y'all. That's why y'all end up in dresses trying to impress. But um, with that being said, yeah. I see it on that note too. Kanye did a personal prayer and God answered that prayer. And he woke up, probably was crying and everything. was like, you know what? I'm going to do it unexpectedly. I'm going to wait till I do my show. And showing if I was that much about money and God could put on his heart or spoke to him. Literally, this is how I want you to do it. Same way as you gain the world and lost your soul, gain you know, gain as far as gaining me and lose the people. After you, Kanye, he like, I don't care. I don't care. And I'm going to say this, and then I'm on to Meek Mill and Nicki Minaj. And I hope you are listening to Miss Kim Kardashian. You know what I'm saying? God bless you. I'm not against you. I don't hate you. It's the devil. That I'm against. Uh, and to everybody that want to laugh at Kanye, look at him about what he's going through with her, leaving him, just know this. Today or tomorrow, you break up with that man, you take his children, guarantee God is in control. No weapon formed against him shall prosper. He is more than a conqueror, no matter what. You don't know the scriptures? God allow a man to look down. God likes to use small people to, be, to beat big people. So with that being said, you leave him. You, even if God allow you, because it has to be allowed. That's why the devil is here, because he's allowed to be here for God's glory. Something don't go wrong. How you going to know God is good? So which means is, even if God allows you to take his children, which he may not do, but I'm going to say this like this. You take his children, you divorce him. Okay. Guess what? Don't be surprised. God bless him to end up being with a woman that is really a spiritual believer in Christ and that be his. How Beyonce say, no matter what's going on with her and Jay-Z, how Beyonce say, let me upgrade you. That he be upgraded with a spiritual woman. End up having his own church and everything. Bang. Yeah. Keep sleeping on the believer. It may just go that way. That part. Yeah. It is what it is. Stay strong. And salute the DMX for speaking on his behalf. But what we really need is all believers to come together. Let's all come together. That's why I did Philly DMX and all that. Not, not forget me. But I'm just putting it out there. Because me and DMX were late. Look up the video if you want. Philly DMX I did. Track and all. But make a long story short. The Death of Devil Music too. It's a time where all believers need to come together. And I'm about to get right to me. And Nicki Minaj. But it's a time we need to all get together. The truth is what matters. It's a spiritual battle going on. It's a beautiful storybook happening. 
your soul is worth more than everything. You know? You're automatically famous just by living, just by being here. The devil is a liar, Jesus Christ is almighty, Son of Father, Holy Spirit. You get to know him. You've been lied to. Forget color and all that. But anyway, now, Nicki Minaj, Meek Mill, everybody's going off, talking about it's definitely over. This is what I have to say about this. I'm going to sum this up real quick. Unless Nicki Minaj said out her mouth, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of it. I know what's going on. They both on the same note. We got y'all on that note that y'all want to see us break up. We got y'all on that note. Anything we do, we sneeze on Twitter and show a picture. You're going to say Meek Mill sneezes. Nicki Minaj didn't wipe his nose and she looked like she was scared. That's what's going on. Until I hear Nicki Minaj say, I'm done, it's over, it's not over. I don't care Mimi's, I don't care what she posts that sounds like something. They're working the media. Yes, make our ratings keep going up. Yes, prepare them for our new album. That's what's going on. That's sad. Y'all want to see them break up, man. Because y'all love drama and negativity. They're not breaking up, man. I don't care if she made a meme with Meek and kissed the meme. Seriously, little brother. I don't care. I'm tired of the sadness. And I'm, I'm sick of y'all promoters and all that and media doing the clickbait. That's why they know when they come over on this side, it's no clickbait. You're getting the truth bait. I'm truth bait. You can sell that if you want to. <laughs> Seriously, I'm click. I'm no. <laughs> and I ain't going to delete that either. Yeah, I just messed up, but I'm right back at it. I'm truth bait. Make a shirt with it and all that. Go ahead. You got that from me. I don't need no credit. But yeah, truth bait right here. No, they not breaking up. Meek and Nicki Minaj is going to be kissing on camera, Instagram, Facebook, something. Dancing a video together. I got a feeling soon they're going to do a track together. They're going to be spazzing on, on it because they, you know, it's long awaited. Yeah, they did tracks. They did little stuff together, collabs with other people and collabs singing and uh, I mean not singing well you know Nicky be doing that I don't know Meek might be so happy he might start singing getting so much money but at the end of the day you know what I'm saying I won't be surprised they do a joint going back to back on some Styles P and Jadakiss tip she's a beast I give it to her you know what I mean and Meeky do his thing so stop it y'all they ain't breaking up, dog. They ain't breaking up. Y'all on y'all clickbait, man. And basically, I'm at the point, and another thing I'm going to say while I'm talking about Nicki Minaj and me, right? I speak the truth. That's my opinion. I'm telling the truth. I spoke on it, and I'm glad I did. Whether I was the reason, I ain't giving glory to myself, glory to God, that he did get with in nature, anything else he do for anybody, that's what's up, but he still got to do it on his own. I don't control me, and then I can say that can get to a person if they don't believe not only in Christ or if they don't believe my words. Or no matter how true it is, it's people that's rebellious or just be on the note, I ain't listening to him, I'm going to do it on my own will if I do it. I'm rich, I ain't got to never come around Philly if I ever want ever again and still rep Philly. But the point I'm making is, you know, um, End of the day, you know, I got to say that not only is in his own way, if you're up on it and, uh, and aware of it, Meek ain't even got to grab nobody. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to say this. You know why? Because I got to say this. Thank you, Meek. Just by me speaking on you and Bean's situation, 
that y'all should apologize or Bean should apologize. Then eventually I said they both should. After thinking about it, I'm human. Right? But apology paired, it just makes the better man. Put your pride to the side. The point I'm making is that gave me the knowledge to do what I'm doing with my show. You know what I mean? Same thing I do with my music, so it just increases everything. And I'm about to drop music back to back to back to back. I know what I'm doing. Got the devil music one already on sale. Doing good in the street. You know what I mean? Got the devil music two on the way right now. You know what I mean? But the point I'm making is thank you, brother. Just by me speaking on that you and Beanie Siegel should come together. That's what even more launched off my show right now. So you blessing people by accident. You blessing people by accident. Now I'm going to keep speaking the truth. Like I said, I want you to keep taking this truth and run with it, man. You ain't got to commend me for nothing. I love to see a brother prosperous. No matter what race it is, but at the same time, I got to speak for my race. I love to see a brother prosper. Shout out to you and Nicki Minaj. Y'all need to stop it. They're not going to break up. You know what I mean? And shout out to every other brother holding their thing down from OBH to everybody. Just not giving up. Keep doing your thing. But other than that, Nicki Minaj and me, I don't care what they're saying. Listen, you're going to see memes. You're going to see twits and this and that. Tweets, twits, whatever you want to call it. They're going to work the media. But till you hear out Nicki Minaj's mouth, me and Meek are done, it's not done. So you hear out Meek mouth, I'm done with her, it's not done. Or oh, they may just do it for fun. <laughs> it is what it is because, come on, man. Y'all need to be worrying about your own relationship. A lot of y'all being them memes or, no, I'm going to say meme, but being them pictures. Where the homie on that side, the homie on that side with their girlfriends, and y'all just in the middle by yourself. Talking about my friends and me, how I look. Probably the main ones want to see him with our relationship. Come on, man. So that's my thoughts on that. That's my opinion on that. They ain't breaking up, man. They still spurs and getting that money, selling that mansion, doing what they do. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You know what I mean? All right. Look, I pray that Kanye receive it, not jumping back and forth. I pray that Kanye get Kim to receive Christ and pray with that whole family, rebuke them demons out of them and out of that house. Well, it's itself. Same way as if anything going on with Nicki Minaj and me. And me did say in the, in the track, I go to hell, I burn it down. You know you said that, me. I speak the truth, but I pray for you, brother. Look at me as however you want. That's why I seen the devil and the Holy Spirit did what he did. In Jesus' mighty name. And I'm still here to talk about it. It's truth. Pray to God about it. Ask him if I'm real. He'll talk to you in a dream and etc. However you need to, however he feels fit to get through to you. It's all facts right here, bro. It is what it is. But God bless y'all with y'all relationships. Relieve, receive Jesus Christ. That's the way. If you don't want to receive Jesus Christ, I pray for you. God bless your souls. God bless your children and your children's children, man. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, and the life. You say truth the way in the light or truth the way in the life. It is what it is. And I'm a walking testimony. I've seen the Holy Spirit come out of me and go in the face of Satan. That's why I'm still here. And that's why I earn gray hairs too. Sometimes I die. I'm going to let y'all see it up close. Can you see it? But look at it real good because it disappears. It dyes my hair when I feel like it. You know? I gained great hair in my experiences too. I meant to put that in my testimonies. I went to the mirror, whoa, like Moses, and seen great hair all over my hair. Every time I had experience, it was more great hair that came as wisdom. 
I rock it sometimes, but I like to diet too. I like to be fly too, you know. I do it for myself. I can be fly either way, but I'm adding it because I want to. This is my show. And it's glorifying God. It is what it is. But salute to them. Y'all stop that clickbait, man. Till you hear it out the horse's mouth. Stop being a donkey. Make the hurries, baby. Gotta get up, don't give up. Gotta get up, don't give up. Gotta get up, don't give up. Gotta get up, don't give up.